G'day everyone! It's been quite a few weeks since I did any work on the bus and that's partly because I've been busy with my business and my casual day job that I work on top of that but also the big reason is because I've had something going on in my life that's been a huge distraction and taken up quite a bit of my time the last couple of weeks and that is that I am no longer going to be traveling solo. Uh, I have a new lady in my life and so now there's going to have to be a few changes and the house that I'm building in my bus will now need to be a house for two. So this is Peppa. Peppa, say hello. Say, <laughs> say hello to the camera. Say hello. Okay. This is Peppa. As you can see, she's really well behaved. <laughs> Not. Um, she's a rescue pup that I adopted uh, just two weeks ago, so I haven't had her very long. Um, I don't know much about her history other than that when she was a bit over seven months old, she was rescued from the pound. And unfortunately, the pound had had an outbreak of parvovirus. So within an, a week of arriving at the rescue, she started showing symptoms. Thankfully, the rescue had actually vaccinated her on the day that they first um, took her into care. So she managed to get through the disease and survive, thankfully. She's now about eight and a half months old. She was very quiet and very shy for the first um, little while. But after about a week, she started to sort of come out of a shell and show a cheeky naughty side and now she's very firmly in the testing boundaries <laughs> and seeing what she can get away with phase. She hasn't obviously had any training so she's quite a handful um, but she's supposedly a wolfhound cross um, they think maybe cross with a cattle dog because she's got a little stumpy tail I don't know if you can see that <laughs> um, but so even though she's a wolfhound cross, she's quite small. She only weighs about 17 kilos and she's almost nine months old now. So she's probably not going to get much bigger than, than what she is now, which is good because can't really fit a horse sized dog in the bus. Um, so yeah, so Pepper's going to be joining me on the road eventually uh, when I finish the bus. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go, <laughs> but you know, it's going to take me a while to finish the build. So hopefully by then she'll be quite a bit older. We'll have had a chance to do some training. Um, she'll be a little bit more settled, hopefully, and a bit better behaved. <laughs> um, <laughs> fingers crossed. We'll see. At the moment, she's still very much a puppy, even though she's got adult teeth, um, which is a bit challenging. Um, but anyway, she's adorable. Uh, I love her and... Um, <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. So obviously having a dog with me on the road is going to um, present quite a few challenges. Um, obviously I'm going to be a bit more restricted in where I can go. I'm not going to be able to take her into national parks um, and also you know even just staying in towns getting into shops and things like that is going to be a little bit tricky. Um, but you know plenty of people travel with dogs and there are lots of solo women that are traveling with their pets in Australia too so it is doable um, and anyway so <laughs> uh, and I'll be I'll be you know talking about all that as we go too so if you are curious to know what it's like to travel on your own with a dog um, stick around because <laughs> I'm gonna find out mm -hmm. 